Hey everybody, today is Saturday, November 18th, 2023, and we're here, we, <laughs> off to a great start. We are here in Allentown, Pennsylvania, at the Allentown Fairgrounds, and the reason why we are here today is because we are here for the super gigantic garage sale. Every year, once a year, twice a year, I honestly at this point forget how often they do this. I know that every time I come out here, it's cold, so I'm going to say maybe just once a year, or maybe I only come out here in the, uh, in the winter, fall season when it's fairly chilly out. Although today, it's actually kind of nice outside today. Not, not too bad. But anyway, again, the reason why we are here at the Agriplex, I believe the uh, building is called, is for the super gigantic garage sale. Inside here, all kinds of people set up selling all kinds of things, toys, collectibles, movies, all sorts of awesome stuff. And we are going to go inside and um, see what we can find. Though, as you may have, I'm out of breath for some reason. <sighs> slight, slight incline. So um, as you may have noticed, I am all by myself today. Nobody, nobody is here with me. Everybody was, was busy today. All my friends were, were pretty much just busy doing something else. So I am here all alone. Although, with that being said, I do believe Patricia from, from Flintstones fan on Instagram is actually inside there. So we possibly will be meeting up with her at some point, looking for some Flintstone merchandise along with the, uh, the movies and stuff that I'm looking for. So, all right, anyway, let's go inside. Let's see what we can find. If it's anything like every other time I've been out here, I'm gonna be spending some money. It does cost $5 to get in here, but that's that's all right. It, it is completely 100% worth it. And you get a, you get a hand, what is that? It's a, it's a bat hand stamp. Oh, yes. You were here last year. I was here last oh, year. Hi. Oh, don't mind my hand. Um. <laughs> I've only just walked in and already I'm, I'm being swamped by, by people. That was awesome. She was very nice. There were some kids over there who just uh, apparently watched uh, my videos and wanted to get some stickers from me. So. I'm, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say we're off to a to a good start. We're off to uh, some power of positivity today. Now if I can just find some movies. I'll be happy. Should I say we're we're off to a, a good start? I am finding some movies here, though. Unfortunately, I don't actually think anything I need. This is pretty cool, though. This is Tom Jones Volume One. That is tempting. I believe this was from his like variety show type thing. I just don't see myself ever actually really watching this, so I'm, I'm probably going to end up passing on that. This is really cool, though. The Midnight Movies release of What's the Matter with Helen and who, Whoever Slew Auntie Rue. I already have this. I don't need it. I would have grabbed it for the store, but the discs are not in the best condition because, or should I say the disc is not in the best condition because it is a flipper disc. They've got Seasons of the Nanny, which I already have the complete series of. I don't need that. I don't know. I am seeing some interesting things Good here. Morning, it's just God. Anyway, like I was saying, some interesting stuff there. But unfortunately, nothing I really need to pick up. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass. I found a whole bin here full of anime, which is pretty awesome. But um, again, mostly stuff I already have, with the exception of this, Howl's Moving Castle. I mean, okay, I, I do have this. In fact, I have the, the Disney release, but I only have the the Disney DVD release of this. So um, brand new factory sealed. I am very interested in upgrading to Blu-ray, though for $10, not so much. I wonder if they would do $5 on this. If they, if, if they would do $5, I would totally pick this up as an upgrade. But at $10, I mean, I'm, I'm fine with the DVD. I don't, I don't need to have it on Blu-ray. Plus I'll, I'll find this for cheaper somewhere, someday, somewhere down the line. But, um, We'll see if they'll do, we'll see, um, <laughs> we'll see if they'll do five. All right, yeah, definitely off to a good start. They did $5 for the Howl's Moving Castle. Pretty happy to have that on Blu-ray now, but even better than getting this for $5 for absolutely free, we got a Patricia. <laughs> How, wait, how was that? Patricia. I can't do the rolling R thing. I, just, I, I mean, I can, I can do it. I can go, I can go, but if I try to put that into a word, it does not work. Patricia. Did I do it? Cool, cool. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say I failed. I don't need Funko Pops, right? I should just walk away from Funko Pops. But there's Sailor Moon 
tuxedo mask. How awesome is that for only $15? I, I dressed up as him at RetroCon this year. It's, it's calling to me. No. What? No? no? I, should, I, should just, I should just stay away from the, the Funko Pops? Stay away, unless it's Funko Pops. <laughs> yeah, but then I'd be buying it for, for you, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, Patricia. My only thrifting buddy who, when they see clothes, goes, Woo! Clothes! And then we have to spend 15 minutes looking through all the all the clothes. I'm, I'm not hating. Oh, no, I'm just, oh, you're, you're very, very smooth. Like, I, I feel like I'm going to be like, whoa. Listen, no joke. I'm like, I wore this top when we thrifted before. This is why I need more clothes so I don't recycle when we thrift. Whatever you got to tell yourself. <laughs> Patricia is also my only thrifting buddy who buys costume jewelry as as well. What did you get here? A, a bangle. A are you gonna walk like an Egyptian? Is that what you, is that what you're gonna do? That is pretty awesome, I guess. What? What? I'm what? Do it for my Snow White Disney bounding. Makes sense. All right. I mean, as long as you're gonna use it for Disney bounding, I can get behind it. That's that's a good that's a good find for a buck. Four dollars. Cool. At this point, I don't even know when I'm gonna get to display this kind of stuff again. But I'm I'm thinking I have to pick up the uh, the Poe here from from Kung Fu Panda. That is awesome for for only one dollar. I, I knew it was Kung Fu Panda and I've never seen it. I'm so proud. I've learned a lot from you. <laughs> I, I feel like I'm, I'm doing well in my, my training, my young, <laughs> my young Padawan. Anyway, so I don't know when I'm gonna get to actually display this because at this point the, the library is in disarray and I have to get it all set back up again in Florida. It might, it might be a good year until this sees the light of day, yes. <laughs> like actually promote layers. We do it all like, for you. It's like, ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Like I'm burning down the house. Yeah. <laughs> but, because at one point, you used to be able to you smoke in McDonald's. Oh. Yeah, remember those little like, um, yeah, those little ashtrays? They were, they were, they were what, what were they? They were, um, it was like a, like a tin, like a tinfoil uh, yeah, ashtray. Yeah, 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 that's funny. Because we're that old. I was beginning to get a little discouraged because I, I'm really not finding a whole lot in the way of movies here at the um, the super gigantic garage sale, unfortunately. But now I'm coming across this, a whole box here full of mostly Blu-rays, which is pretty awesome though. Note the look of shock upon my face. I actually have pretty much all of this with the exception of this right here, the French Connection. This is awesome, obviously a, a fantastic movie. And I do have the sequel on Blu-ray. I only have uh, the original on DVD, so that's actually a pretty awesome find for $3. I am going to uh, to pick this up, but like I said, unfortunately, everything else I, I already have, even the 3D Blu-rays, which is really, really awesome to see, but again, it's stuff I, I don't need, just, just this, but for three bucks, I'm buying it. I don't need Funko Pops. I don't need Funko Pops. I don't need Funko Pops, but I'm watching. <laughs> okay, all right. Is that is it five? Is it five thousand or like fifty? Maybe there's a decimal point in there. I think there's got to be a decimal point. There's no way that's five thousand dollars. At least I hope not, because that would be in the like security lock and key. I used so to actually, I used to actually have one of these in my collection. So let's hope it doesn't go for five thousand dollars now, or I'm gonna be really upset that I sold mine. Anyway, I'm really digging the uh, the Elliot from Peach Dragon. That it. I should have asked you what what this is from. Would you have even known? That one I wouldn't know. Anyway, Elliot from Peach Dragon, that is awesome. Like I said, I used to have this in my collection back when I used to collect Funko Pops, and then I sold it because I, I no longer collect them, but I'm digging it. I'm just not for 5,000. Just, I'm just hoping, it, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping there's a, a decimal point missing. Otherwise, I regret selling mine. The other thing I, I don't need is, um, is Pez dispensers. Again, I, I used to collect these pretty hardcore back in the day i had just i don't know hundreds maybe thousands of these things before i ever got into collecting movies i i miss collecting them they they, they were fun to collect for but i just yeah the, see the problem is i ooh, where's where's patricia I'm, I'm assuming you have it yeah okay like three of them <laughs> of course of course you do why why wouldn't you see the problem with the pez is like i i couldn't really even get back into i mean i could but getting back into collecting these would be insane because I, I'm so behind now. I, but I, but no, but no. It, I'm gonna use that as my excuse, but I, I shouldn't need an excuse. I just should not collect here's, Pez. Here's my question. When you move to Florida. Yes. What do we start collecting? 
start I, I, have, I have to I have like to we just do it all over I have to have a new collection for Florida yes. hi Danielle uh, I know once again huge look of shock upon my face but I'm finding a whole boatload of blu-rays here all at two dollars a piece and of course it's pretty much all stuff I I already have I really don't see anything I need to pick up in here with the exception, I think, of this, A Christmas Carol. This is the um, the George George C. Scott 1984 A Christmas Carol, which I, I know I own, but I think I only have on DVD. I'm fairly certain I don't have this on Blu-ray. I'm like 99.9% .9 sure I don't have it on Blu-ray. My, my lists tell me I don't have it in high definition on Blu-ray. So you know what? For $2, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the chance. If I can upgrade this to a... It's a Blu-ray for two bucks. That's a good deal. So again, I, I don't really need anything else in here. I already have all this, but I'll pick this up. I'm definitely having fun, but it's really crazy, ridiculously crowded in here. Just to get through the aisles and into the little booths, it's it's pretty nuts. There were some Dog Man and Last Kids on Earth books in there for my son, but he already has all of them, of course, and just random toys that I need to just walk away from before I I start buying. Right? No, no, no. Mm -mm. And again, coming across a whole boatload of DVDs here and some Blu-rays as well, all for one dollar a piece. Though unfortunately, not much in the way of anything I actually need to pick up, with the exception of this right here, the Model Railroad Extravaganza, Railroads on Parade. This is a Model Railroad DVD. That is pretty awesome. So brand new, factory sealed. So for a dollar. I mean, it's, it's model railroads. I'm, I'm picking this up. Oh no, I'm finding a whole bunch of uh, anime here and I actually don't have a lot of this. A lot of it's stuff I I need for my collection and a lot of it's priced um, a, little, a little more than I would um, be liking be liking to pay for, for anime. However, with that being said, it's not all priced that highly, and the guy gave me a deal on some stuff I need. I'm picking up three volumes of, of fairy tale here for $25 total, grabbing volume one, which I I don't have yet, volume two, which again I, I don't have yet, and volume I'm I've got a lot of catching up to do. Volume 17, which I also don't have yet. These are all the Blu-ray DVD combo packs, so that's pretty awesome. Twenty twenty-five dollars for all this, it's a pretty good deal. So I I've got to pick these up and I'm going to be good and I'm going to walk away from the rest of the anime, which I also want because I just dropped $25 as it is. I'm spending $25 on anime I need to complete sets, not just stuff I need to start collecting. We, I'm buying these. I of course promised Sean today that I was going to be on the lookout for Pokemon cards and I'm finding these gold Pokemon cards, one for two or three for five. I don't really know anything about these. I'm not sure if these are legit or, or I, I don't know. You guys leave comments down below. You guys are always yelling at me about Pokemon cards. Oh, those are real ones. Those are fake ones. I don't know. My son does not care. He just buys these because he finds them intriguing and, and interesting. He does not care about um, bootlegs versus, versus real cards. So whatever, I'm going to get these for him. He does not have any of these gold cards and I'm going to get him three Mewtwo cards because um, he's obsessed with this character. He loves Mewtwo. So all right, for, for five bucks, I'm buying these for them. Again, you guys leave comments down below about the the authenticity of um, of these cards. But regardless, I don't care. I'm thinking it's time for comments down below. Patricia needs these. Look at the, the Flintstone kids figures. You were saying you already have Dino and you already have Fred. So you need Barney and you need Wilma. But I need it's possible that you got me Fred or something. Like, I don't go out seeking them because... But you love the Flintstone kids. No. Kids in we, movies, no. We are Flintstone kids. A million strong. I have lots of vitamins. And them. growing. <laughs> so, there you go. Oh, wait. Those are just Flintstones. That is confusing. The, the Flintstone... Go. Let it go. As the Flintstone, said, yeah, let the, it go. the Flintstone vitamin. No, I'm not going to let it go. The Flintstone vitamins are not Flintstone kids vitamins. No, they're Flintstone. But they're, we are Flintstone kids, a million strong and growing, but Flintstone kids is its own thing. Um, Hannah Barbera, you're, you're very confusing. That's too much. My you brain need, oh, is too much. Long story short, Patricia should be buying the figures. Yeah. I just found some really interesting books here, all for only 25 cents a piece. So for a grand total of $1, 
I'm picking all of this up. Some Pokemon here and some Minecraft. Of course, these are for my son. And I'm not even going to bother to see if he needs these. I know, I, I know he does not have the Pokemon, but he might already have the Minecraft books. I, I don't know, but again, at, at 25 cents a piece for one dollar, I'm not even going to bother to call him. I'm just going to... I'm just gonna pick these up and assume that he doesn't have them. And if he does, whatever, 25 cents a piece. Too good of a deal to pass on. All of these movies down here are only $1 a piece or six for five. And there is a lot to go through. And of course I, I had to go through every single one of these. And of course it's mostly stuff I either already have or just don't want, but I did find two things I wanna pick up. One of them being Dogfight. I've never actually heard of this movie, but River Phoenix and the setting of the 1950s alone have me completely sold on this. If you guys have seen this movie, leave a comment down below. Let me know about that one. And I'm also picking up Cabin Fever 2, Spring Fever, which I already have, but I have it within a multi-feature set that I'm trying to split up. So I do I do want to pick this up. I, I think I need this release of it. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is the one I need. So anyway, whatever. For, for, $2, for $2 total, $1 a piece, I'm picking... Uh, I'm picking both these up. And why, again, why am I not surprised that out of all these like hundreds of movies, it's just two things. And one of them is something I technically don't even really need. I'm really trying to just put up blinders when I'm walking past all the toys, but it's really, really difficult. Especially when I'm seeing interesting things like um, Star Wars Episode One stuff, Forbidden Planet, some classic 1989 Batman. There's a talking Pee Wee Herman doll. Why do I have a feeling it's only a matter of time until I do indeed start collecting vintage toys? I, I don't have, I do not have room for that kind of thing. There, there's no way I would ever have, like, I don't even know what this is, but I want it. Anyway, I don't have room for vintage toys. I, I know better. The, the, new, the new setup in the, uh, the new house is only so big. And it's not big enough for, for large, carded, and boxed vintage toys. Or is it? No, 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 no. It's, it's not the toys I got to put the blinders up for. It's, it's the blow molds. I have literally stumbled upon a, a sea, a literal army of blow molds here. This is insane. Now, they're all priced accordingly. The, uh, the Frankenstein monster here is $250. So no, no amazing deals. This, this guy knows what he has and everything is priced as it, as it should be. So I am just going to pass on, on all of this. What would Danielle be doing right now if she would, she would just be jump, jumping in, jumping into these, just swimming, swimming through them. She'd be, she'd be going crazy. She would not be paying the mortgage this, this month is what would, what would be happening. This is nuts. This, this is so many amazing blow molds. And I'm just going to keep walking because, um, even I'm in, even I'm impressed. All right, so passing on all the uh, the blow molds for Danielle, but I'm not going to pass on this. It's a Mickey hat she doesn't have. It's actually um, all velvet, too. It's, it's flocked. This is really awesome. And they're only asking $3 on this. So, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely picking her up the, uh, the Mickey, the Mickey hat. Oh, and look, look, at, look at that. Come. Yeah, yeah come on. For, for three bucks? Yeah. I've got to buy it, right? Yeah. How, how was that? You gotta buy it. Yeah, no, I like the, the, the yeah, 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 you gotta buy it, yeah. Did you even realize you were doing Is that? that? Kind of sippy? Yeah. Sippy? <laughs> it's something like that, right? No, Beavis and Butthead. Beavis butt head? and Butthead. <laughs> I'm, bu I'm, uh, I'm buying the hat. I, I need new friends. I am pretty happy that the uh, the amount of movies I'm finding has been picking up the, the further into the, the yard sale slash garage sale slash flea market. I'm I go, but unfortunately, I think once again, as far as all of this stuff here is concerned, it's um, it's stuff I already have. Nothing I I need to pick up. So I am finding more, just not more I need. This is one of those times where you're actually kind of upset that you already own everything because you're finding some good stuff. A lot of Disney titles, things like um, the Winnie the Pooh, Springtime with Rue, and Winnie the Pooh on Valentine's Day and a Valentine for you. You don't really come across those too often a bunch of super friends as well lots of uh marvel and dc stuff even some cool blu-rays but again it's it's all stuff i have they even have the greatest teen 80s movie ever made but again i i have it and don't need it so more things i'm walking away from 
All right, so one gigantic room down and now into another gigantic room. We're, we're almost, we're kind of almost done, but we're gonna find some good stuff there's here. still a lot to look through. Have you been in this room yet? No. No? So all the Flintstones in here are new to you. Yes. Close. We're gonna, uh, <laughs> I was gonna say, we're gonna find you some Flintstones, but and yeah, and, and clothes, <laughs> of, of course, clothes. <laughs> so we just ran into viewer Corey here, who's, who's hooking us up. He gave Patricia here, look at this awesome Fred and Barney Bedrock Super Bowl. That is cool. So an awesome book. And then hooked me up with all this stuff here. Of course, the uh, the Pokemon cards are, are for Sean. Just what Sean needs. More, more, more Pokemon cards, but that is awesome. Some Brer Rabbit Tales, some um, PBS here, some A&E. That is really cool. Seven Wonders of the Ancient World. This is, I don't know what this is. Burt Wolf Travels and Traditions. All right. HR Puff and stuff, that's great. Some Warner Archives here. These are titles I, what, do you want, do you want that? I think this is so cool. Do you want it? I, I think I want it. I will, I, I will gift that from, from Corey to me, Thank to you. You, you, really you can have that. Some more Warner Archives here. Some more Warner Archives. The Pacifier widescreen. I've been looking for a minty copy of this. So that is awesome. And this is cool. How the West was won. The Ultimate Collector's Edition, brand new factory sealed. And then these are what I'm freaking out over the most. Some Kino releases, September Storm in 3D. So a shark movie and um, ape. Yep, just, just are, is it ape or is it A-P-E? I, I don't know, but also in 3D. So that is awesome. I'm I'm pretty excited to be adding some of that stuff to my uh, my collection and you get in some HR pop and stuff and some so Flint, so, so Corey, thank you very much for all the awesomeness. But now I have to look through all the the rest of your movies. So of course, I know, once again, huge shock. I pretty much have all this stuff, but there is a box set over here I I don't have. This is Tales of Tomorrow. Some um, Wade Williams I, I don't have in my collection. Only $2 for this double disc set. That's actually pretty awesome. I'm I'm gonna add some, uh, some more sci-fi to my collection for, for two bucks, but I do think that is everything I, I need over here. Yeah, this is a whole bunch of stuff I, I already have. So of course, the entire time I've been here, I've not just been looking for movies, but also for Spice Girls and for Figment, and of course, for Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance games. But unfortunately, pretty much everything I'm seeing is either um, common stuff I, I already have, because I, I do pretty much have all the common releases, or, they're the more obscure releases and everybody knows what they they have and they're they're charging the correct prices for those more obscure releases. That's kind of where I am now when it comes to my um, my collecting of uh, of Game Boy, Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance. There there are still a couple common titles here and there I need to pick up, but for the most part, it's the the rare expensive stuff that I'm looking for now. Let's face it, we come here for the thrifting, but we stay for the goat and pony show. These guys are so adorable. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Too cute. I mean, how often do you come across a pony in your size? You've got. <laughs> no, 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 no. We've been here for like three hours now. I'm only now starting to sort jokes. You're welcome. They, they had to come eventually, though. So we are just about done. The uh, the exit is right over there, but I am finding some Blu-rays here at $3 a piece. And they're all, for the most part, brand new factory sealed, including a couple steelbook releases of Journey to the Center of the Earth and Clash of the Titans. Pretty awesome to come across brand new factory sealed Blu-ray steelbooks for, for only three bucks a piece. Unfortunately, I already have the 3D releases of those, so I don't really need them and as such i'm going to do the right thing and, and walk away i mean again three bucks a piece is awesome but i don't i don't need them <laughs> all right guys so that's going to do it for the super gigantic garage sale here in allentown at the allentown fairgrounds i'm happy my entire bag is completely filled with stuff you found all kinds of flintstone goodies and whatnot however before we leave there is still one more thing for, no, make that two more things for you in, in my car. 
All right, so these I picked up for oh. you um, somewhat <laughs> recently. Well, you know about this one. Okay, but what? Yeah, so this I got for you. Oh my gosh. At Spirit Halloween. They were Get out. They were selling all these for like a dollar or like 50 cents a piece or they were they were crazy ridiculously oh. cheap. I saw the Flintstones one and knew knew you had to have it. I love you. And with that, I just made my your year. day. Your, oh, my oh, oh. Year. not Whoa. even your day, your so, entire so year. So my husband's off camera. <laughs> It's amazing. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're, I'm glad you're happy. Oh my gosh. Did you not see this? <laughs> and now with that, we are done here at the super gigantic garage sale. Just made the drive to Allentown worth it. And to see you. Of course. It's been a while. It's the Flintstones. Let's, let's face it. I, I am a second thought when it comes to, to Flintstones. But all right, guys, again, with that, we are done. So as always, thank you all so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Also check down below for links to Spreadshirt, where you can grab yourself retro rest stop t-shirts, proceeds both from Spreadshirt and from Patreon to help support the show. And they keep the show going. And it brings us out to awesome and amazing places like Allentown here for the super gigantic garage sale. And also check down below for a link to Flintstones fan on Instagram. And if you guys watch this video all the way until the very end, hashtag Flintstones are better than Dave. If you guys watch this video all the way until she's like, yeah, you're, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Wow. Yeah. Wow. We appreciate you. We love the Flintstones, but we Fre adore. Yeah. Fre Frenchy, right? Anyway, guys, look at that. That's going to do it. So like I said, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And if you do hit that subscribe button or you are subscribed, then I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.